What's up everybody, this is uh, Area 51 and the Goat coming at you with, um, I don't know if you guys have played the game Palia yet, uh, for anybody who has played um, Disney Dreamlight Valley, very similar, um, like, like the game itself is just very similar from the mining aspect and the fishing aspect, it's all done in a similar way. Um, so if you if you liked Disney Dreamlight Valley, you should definitely check out Palia P A L I A. Uh, you can find it on the Epic Games Store, or you can download it directly from its own site. <clears throat> um, I would suggest downloading it from its own site if if that's okay, because I downloaded it from the Epic Games Store, um, and it has been atrocious. Uh, like okay it wasn't all that bad i should say it's just it likes to spit this error code all the time not a, not the biggest ordeal that i've ever had but it also is very annoying um to be you know trying to play a game and all you keep getting is this error code not exactly my definition of, of a good time or, or a good uh like fun adventure in the beginning so what i'm doing right now is i'm just moving a bunch of my stuff into storage uh i kind of forgot how to play this game sorry it's been a little bit i'm grabbing these logs out of here i'm trying to remember how to do stuff here um, i'm gonna grab these guys uh currently i am trying to build my house which is still one of the beginning missions um there we go, and there we go. Boom, we're oh, yeah, the eight hours. The, and this is eight hours real time for the for the house to finish its building upgrade, which is fine. Um, we weren't in any kind of rush, and I kind of figured that something like this might happen. So, eh, you know. Um, it's all right. Anyway, we got a little bit of money I don't remember how to open stuff. There we go. And honestly, today all all I'm gonna really be doing is uh, some mining. Um, you'll see it's even similar with like the mining tool itself. Very similar to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Uh, so if you guys found that game interested, definitely check out this game. It is free. You don't have to pay for it. There are some things that are definitely still maybe need to be worked on in the game but it is early release still uh, it seems like their servers are kind of limited whenever you go to well i can just show you really quick uh, whenever you go to log in um, there's like a wait timer because there are people uh, in front of you and playing the game and then also when you go to the next town or when you come back you'll see down here on the bottom right corner it's like thanks for waiting you'll be home soon um, however, if you play during peak times, probably right after 5 o'clock, 3 to probably 7, um, you'll be seeing these wait timers quite a bit. Uh, not terrible, just something that I wish I would have known when I first created the account. I created it with my son, <clears throat> who is 6 and has the patience of a 6-year-old. Uh, There are no players near me. Oh, I can't just send it to myself. So. How do I turn that off? Turn off whisper. I'm not sure why I'm whispering to myself. There we go. Hello, everyone. There we go. Um, but yeah, there there is a lot to this game that I'm still kind of trying to learn, and uh, so I'm definitely not the not the quickest in the game about anything. I'm gonna water in my plants here. Just trying to get some stuff done. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. 
After this, I'll go and check out some stuff for you guys. Like I said, I'm still really new to like all of the process and everything, so it does take me a little bit uh, to remember how to do anything. Anyway, that's watering plants. You can also go fishing. Um, they don't really have like a like a durability kind of. So they all last forever. Um, you can upgrade your fishing pole and your everything else like that. You can upgrade um, bait as well. Oh shoot, too soon. Uh, you can up upgrade your bait as well, if I remember right. Uh, it just takes a little bit of finagling and I just haven't had the money yet to uh, invest in um, a new fishing rod. It's usually my, my favorite thing to do in games like this is uh, Thing. You have to wait for the third one, and then after the third one, it will be a big one, and that's when you do it. But I'm so used to games like Stardew and Minecraft that as soon as that thing goes down, it takes everything in me not to pull that button. There we go. There we go. So fishing is a little bit difficult, right? You gotta try and keep the hook that is near the outside edge right now for me, and you gotta keep the the green parts inside the, or you gotta keep it inside the green. Not exactly difficult, however, um, can be a little difficult because of just like the view, right? Um, <clears throat> so I, I find that a top down point of view like this is the easiest. Uh, however, fishing is quite a bit of fun and it actually can be quite difficult, honestly. There's been a couple of fish that have gotten away from me. I uh, got a boot. That's cool. And then also while you fish, you'll see up on the top left corner, uh, kind of up here, um, that uh, my fishing level is, is up there, and it'll slowly but surely go up. I've probably caught 30 or 40 fish now, and I think I'm level three is what that says. Uh, so it it's slow without being too slow, you know. Um, it's not overkill as far as it takes 45 days to level up or anything like that. But it does take a decent amount of time, um, and they just don't give away levels. So that's that's pretty cool, I think. Um, some games are either way too easy to level up or way too difficult to level up, making the game unplayable and just unenjoyable. And I think they do a pretty good job here at uh, keeping this one still enjoyable and fun without being too much uh, work to to even see any kind of insight, you know. I'm not sure what the maximum levels are yet for each skill. I would assume it's either 10, 20, 50, or 99, as those seem to be kind of top levels in each game. But uh, we'll see. I, you know, I, it's going to be a while before I get to any kind of top level but um yeah we'll, we'll just have to find out i think uh mining with a pickaxe is very similar i think i already mined once for you guys but now you can see it again um just pick up the loot uh you will find that cutting stuff down is very similar um blue bar just goes down very much so like disney dreamlight still uh there's base building, so this is my base currently. Uh, I think everybody that plays the game gets like their own plot of land is what it seems like. This is your first kind of tent house. Um, and then some uh, work table, so uh, I could build a campfire. Um, which I might actually use, because then I can take the campfire and add my fish to it and yeah I thought I had like a barbecue as well but I could oh I already had a campfire that's right that was one of the things that my son built was campfire whatever it's fine use I don't know what that means oh yeah making grilled mushrooms I was kind of hoping, though, that I would, uh, 
be able to make more than just grilled mushrooms. <laughs> oh, it's probably because of my cooking level. Okay. So yeah, I think that the reason for the grilled mushrooms only is because my cooking level is so low, which I was the first time I had ever cooked. Um, so yeah, I'll just have to try and figure out something for that. Um, this is kind of like the, oh look, a person. Hey. Um, this is kind of the, uh, the town um, overlooking, or well, I guess underneath the town down here is where you'll go for most of your hunting and stuff. Uh, there are some pretty decent townspeople. You don't take fall damage, thank goodness. <laughs> some of the things that you'll notice though in these towns, and that's actually pretty cool. I'm trying to find a, a villager. Oh. See if we can take this. This is the bow. Take oh, shoot. Oh, I don't have any arrows. Ah. That's right. Whatever. You can craft arrows. And uh, when you craft arrows, you can then use the arrows to shoot animals to get, like, leather and other things. Um, so far, there hasn't been any kind of, like, uh, actual like uh, PVE play I guess um, it's mostly just been like oh yeah go and collect this and, oh yeah and go and collect that and go to talk to this person as you can see like try the battery on the door behind the waterfall I don't know where the waterfall is <laughs> um, give five gifts to villagers so uh, and then finish building your house, right? So it's all stuff that like you're supposed to be doing. Again, very similar. And I, I hate saying like this game is exactly like this game, but it is very similar to uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley. Um, the cartoon style to me is even very similar. It's it's still like that slightly realistic, but very much so cartoony, like almost like a Fortnite vibe. Um, which is fine. I, I don't mind it at all. It's just, I think it's kind of fun to see the creative, uh, is it this waterfall? I don't know. Maybe that's where this is taking me, is up to that waterfall? I don't know, man. Let's go. Let's go check it out. Yeah, it kind of looks like we might be getting back up on the wall. Ooh, there's a door. Ooh, it requires an ancient item that I put in my chest because I'm not smart. That's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, one thing. Oh, well, I can't jump off of there. That's okay. I was going to show you guys that you cannot swim. But it won't let me out, so I'll show you when I get down there. Um, if I remember right, you can swim for like a microsecond. But if you were in water too long, maybe, maybe they updated it or fixed it. Well, it used to be that you could not swim. I, I'm betting that that's still the case. So swimming is not an option. There we go. Deep water. Mm. Yeah, swimming is still not an option. So, mm, there are some things that are still a little like texture bound. Chat. I love the roll though. Yeah, fast travel. Let's go home. Let's pick up the item. Let's see here. Hmm. 
that. No longer need that or that or that or that. Or that. Or that. Or the small shiny pebble. So I think. Um, do I have. Why do I keep selling stuff? I need to stop selling all my stuff. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and make. Oh, I need wood. Okay. How much wood do I have? But how much do I have wood? Does a woodchuck chuck? Woodchuck does chuck wood, you know? I'm sorry, that was terrible. I don't know. Um, let's just. Started cutting. I think I'll play a couple more minutes. And uh, but I, th I think you guys got a good idea of what the game looks like. I mean, it is a really pretty game. It's really nice, and um, <coughs> the the villager choices is what really gets me. I think it's a nice touch. Uh, essentially what I mean by that is there's kind of four elements, um, earth, air, uh, water, and fire. Um, and each one of these elements is kind of thrown into your gameplay. So depending on your responses to the villagers' questions, you build specific uh, kind of relationships with them. Um, and of course, I think it's like fire is uh, more like ferocious or more more like aggressive behavior uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're like beating them or anything it's just um a more forward uh kind of speaking uh tone um and then of course you have uh the water with water one which is a, a bit more passive um you have earth which is more like a uh, grounded in like fat and then you have the air one which is kind of just a little bit whimsical and a little uh, kind of not uh, like it, it just it kind of flows nicely but at the same time kind of doesn't make sense on all of them and I don't know if that's just because like they couldn't think of ways to bring up that one particular thing in each conversation. Uh, but I do like I do like how they add it to the game because sometimes you know in like other games like Disney Dreamlight Valley again I, I really wish I didn't bring that game up so much. But things that you see in that game, you do have different answers to each individual um, questions, right? Which gives you kind of this like sense of uh making your own touch on the game right which is great but it doesn't actually do anything like it doesn't build the relationship for worse or for better um which kind of sucks right because you want you want to make noticeable changes in your game as you play it you want it to evolve and to learn and to understand what you're doing as the player and how it can learn from you or at least i do i think that's very interesting I, I think ai is very interesting too though um i know that it scares a lot of people because what's next like the they're going to become sentient, uh, sentient and, and take over and start killing people i don't think that that's the case um i do think that we have made questionable decisions in our last 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 years of um, Apex Predators, but I don't think that AI would see it as like, this is your downfall, you need to die. You know, I, I don't foresee it being that sort of situation. Some people do. Um, anyway, we're back at the broken door. We're going to enter these ruins. We're going to see what's going on in here oh, explore this chamber i guess <clears throat> um, 
expect a bowl with rust on the bottom of the inscription has been worn away by time. Okay. Anything up here? Uh, the worn inscription says roots of darkness take hold uh, from back below this iron hope shall live on the Silox. This water flows. Okay, so the water's still flowing, so that's good. What's left of the throne he says never leaving what they come to us next year. Never leaving? Okay. Whatever. Strange writing says knowledge grows the mind even in times of strife. To enter here you must apply that which grows life. So water. Great. That's what we need. But how do we get it? Okay. Oh, did not mean to just jump in there. Sorry. Pain, a bowl or something. It's a bit of water. Um, I don't see anything. <coughs> Okay, what did you say again? Strange writing says, Knowledge grows mind even in times of strife. To enter here, you must supply which grows life. That's water. Why can I not read? Let me refill, dang it. It's gotta be somewhere in here. Is there water in that thing? Oh, there's no water in here. Oh, gosh. Ah, I hate that so much. <laughs> right. Okay, well, that's fine. Why well, aren't you like a big dude? Um, oh, yeah, okay. So this is what I was talking about, right? So I currently have like one trust maybe i don't know so you can chat pressing the one button what day i need to do some reading oh a good day for research are you here for my Ah, dang, well, it's not going to show me, but, um, yeah, usually, usually. This is Dear Phoenix, protect this place and its people, let your waves wash away our the final one is too fair to read. Kind of weird. 
bad for your protection. Do not give up on your faith. The king shall free us when it's safe. And I keep walking over on his plan again. Um. Well, this is kind of as far as I can go. Oh, it updated. I did not see that. I'm coming back, Gina. Gina? Gina? Whatever your name is. Ah, okay, so here, here's what I'm talking about, right? It's got like a little earth um, or a little water. Water type personalities are thoughtful, introspective, and emotionally sensitive. While intelligent, they often tend towards melancholy. Uh, and then you have earth type personalities are stubborn, practical, and honest, often to a fault. Hmm. Can I give you a gift now? Oh, never mind. Cannot give you a gift right now. Bahari Bay. Where's Bahari Bay? Did not know that that button was there, and I'm really glad I do now. But, uh,. Feel really stupid because I did that for so long. I would run back and forth between the house. Yeah, I feel really dumb now. Um, that's fine. Um, what was I coming here for? Why is my map not showing in my quest? Ah. I'm sure all of them. Apparently you can only have a couple of them. Um, oh, the nice thing about this game I was going to show you guys is that so like all of the items right whatever you want to buy da, 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 they don't have actual like uses it's all just aesthetic which to me is really nice because 425 power coins how much do these things cost uh wow quite a bit um I mean, still, like, if people want to buy it, that's fine. But like, fifty-one hundred for the for the bundle, fifty-one hundred. It's forty-eight dollars. Like, dang, that they're asking quite a bit. I think that they're gonna see. Well, I might need a pet, <laughs> but it only costs three thousand Pelier coins with a minimum purchase. So. I might be getting a pet. Who's to say? I don't know. It's been a backpack from the general store. I don't know why my map is still not showing. Sometimes the game just acts up like that. Maybe it, you know what? It's probably because I'm not actually out in the world. I'm just at my house. That could be it. But yeah, I'm just gonna play for a couple more minutes, um, and then I am gonna log off because I think I think you guys got a a general oh look at all these people a general idea of you know like what you do in the game right like it, it's it's kind of like a Sims meets Dreamlight Valley meets can't really think of another game but it is very much so like Disney Dreamlight Valley which is also very much so like Sims so <clears throat> they're all just kind of lumped into this one big life sim game um, category I work alone. 
Oh, I need what I need from you? What are you? Ah, I can't. I do want a standard pick, though. Shoot. I need some copper bars. Okay. I need, uh, I need something from you. Anyway. Oh, Zeki's expanded backpack. I suppose I'll be seeing you around. I don't. Zeki. 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 I don't think it's here. I think I was lied to. It's definitely not here. <laughs> I'm not saying I was lied to, but uh. Um, let's see here. What other things I got? Bahari. I do need to go to Bahari. Alright, let's go. Um, making money in this game is kind of. I won't say it's difficult, but man, it is not forgiving money wise. Like. You have to sell quite a bit of stuff in order to get anywhere um, money-wise, I will say that much. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, because it's most VR. Okay, um, and we're definitely not making it that far. That one somewhere. Okay. Let's try that again. This time, maybe I will jump. Oh, I had it too. Come on, get there. I completely forgot that you can do that in this game. That's right. Okay. okay. Um. Other things that you can. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I can show you guys now. I'll go ahead and pick this mushroom. Oh, dang. And I believe it takes two shots. Where'd you go? Him completely. Got him. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I like that. I liked it. I liked it a lot, especially more than my just falling. A very old grocery list. It's probably for a, a mission that I haven't done yet. Like I said, guys, I'm still really, really new in this game. Um, haven't done a whole lot of the missions. Just because as soon as I started playing it, my son also wanted to play it and see what it was like. And he's six, so there wasn't a whole lot for him to do because he's still kind of, oh dang, still kind of learning how to read and stuff. And so 
Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's it. Is he just long shot? Nope, definitely not a long shot. Okay. Dang, how? Okay. I know I need to aim up, but it's kind of an oddity to aim up with this bow. Because you think you're that least bow and make it. Bruh. We maybe that one was glitched. I swear I was I was hitting it. At least on that last one felt like it hit. There we go. I don't honestly know why I've been <laughs> Other than to just show you guys now, because uh, I don't actually need any of the items that we've been getting. Anyway, uh, but I'll pick up that more. But yeah, uh, that's been hunting so far. I I haven't taken any damage at all. I don't even know. If I have a health bar, I don't see a health bar anywhere, um, which is fine. I I don't mind games that are adventure without the possibility of dying, but I think that that added, you know, like it, it adds a, a sense of like urgency to do things. Because if you don't, then you will die, and that is just part of the game, right? Like, if there's no dying, then what are you doing, necessarily? And so, while I don't think about it that much in this game, there are some times where I'm just like, man, this could probably have a pretty good balance, uh, like a, a good battler in it, too, where you could have PvP or PvE, player versus enemy, player versus player, um, kind of style to it. Uh, the downfall to that, though, is that we just haven't seen that yet, which is a bummer. Why are some of you guys taking more than two shots? That guy definitely took a, a second shot. Can't tell me wrong. I know it for a fact. Oh, stop moving. Stop moving. Brr. Okay. I am about to run out of arrows. I need you to stop. Oh, almost got too close. Mm -hmm. Duh. I only got two arrows left. Oh. He's on the run. Okay, he's on the run again. What was that? Some something just made the game very dark. And I have lost him. What is that though? A lightning bug? So something else in this game that I haven't necessarily figured out how to how to do. I think I need stone. But even when I had stone, it wasn't working. Oh, I just waved instead of putting on the stuff. That's fine. I like waving. I guess. What? Oh, that's probably coal. Hey. Duck and roll. No, not vulnerable. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I was hoping to find just a small pile of mineable rocks. Thought we 
way past some of Oh! What does this door do? Who's to say? Can't get in yet. Mm, can't go up that part of the stair, apparently. Do you guys remember going over there? I could have sworn I saw a pile of rocks. So lots of trees. Lots of trees. Don't see no rocks though. Maybe? You look mean. I kind of want you though. I don't know what it does. What if it's going to try to attack me? That would be kind of cool though. Forging up though. Tell you what, there's a land or a snow suit. Oh, no, you're not. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, there you are. Just try to down the tree. Oh, I know I don't have a good enough axe for that, or a good enough axe for that. Hoping I'll just be able to cut some of them. Okay, is that that's a rock pile that I can break? I'm pretty sure. Oh come on! I just want to, be able to break some rocks. I don't feel like I'm asking for a whole lot here, guys. Oh nice, got a mud minnow. Yeah, oh. oh. And since it's night time now, I'm just gonna call it quits. Call this a day because. Well, for one, I'm not finding any stone that I can actually break, which has been slightly annoying. Um, but yeah, anyway, I think what you do is you take stone and then you equip this guy here. You throw the stone at the bug, the bug then falls, and then you have to grab it. It says that there's a bug catcher, but I, I haven't been able to find said bug catcher yet. Um, the only thing I can think of is, is that you... Uh, like, have to, have to make it yourself. But, like I said, I haven't found it yet. Um, so I'm not really sure how that comes into play. Oh, camera. Cool. Oh, look around. Zoom in. 
That's awesome. That's cool. Okay. Um. But yeah. Oh, I hear that coal again, I think. Mm, yep. Okay. Yeah, because there's the bug catching over here on the right hand side. Bug catching 101. Collect common blue butterfly. Uh, collect Kelma night moth. However, I don't know how to find those. Um, because maybe I'm dumb. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Oh, you can only use that every, every 20 minutes, maybe? Who's to say? Here's all your friendship stuff. Community. Accomplishments. Again, looks very much so like Disney Dreamlight Valley. Like, there's so much stuff here that just reminds me of it. And it's not a bad thing. Like, I'm not, I'm definitely not trying to say it's, it's like that they're stealing or anything like that. Um, but... <sighs> I just wish that they would have went a little different with it, right? Like, just, I don't know. I just wish they would have went a little bit differently. Ooh. Oh my god, that sure is cool about me being here. Okay, anyway. Uh, my name is Area Fifty One Rebuilt. Um, it's the the social handle that I go by. Uh, I've had it for a really long time since probably two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Uh, you've probably seen me in tons of games. I play League of Legends. I play World of Warcraft. I play um, oh, first person shooters. I play MOBAs. I play MMOs. I play adventure games, action games, racing games, sports games in general. Um, I even play mobile games. I There's really nothing that I won't play as long as it's fun, right? Like, as long as the game itself is fun, and as long as I can play the game without having to wait for an hour. What I mean is, like, I will not play Clash of Clans. I don't think that there's anything necessarily wrong with Clash of Clans, but I also don't have the time to wait 13 days for my level 28 weapon specialist to fully evolve so I can take down um, a tower or a, a colony that is you know just a few blocks away from me but I, I don't I, I I just don't think that's a good use of my time right and I don't have that kind of patience I applaud the people that do uh, but I also think that a lot of games like that are just complete money grabs too right where they're just like here, spend fourteen dollars and you'll get this guy. Spend nine dollars and you'll get this. And spend ten more and you'll get this. But wait, if you spend five more dollars, you get all these things for free. At the end of the day, you probably only needed to spend like five or six dollars to get what you needed. Instead, you spent like a hundred and twenty because of the promise of all this free stuff. And I just don't think that that's worth it. I don't think it's a good business model. Okay, it's a really good business model. I don't think it's a good ethic, ethical business model. And that's my problem with, with that, um, is I don't think it's very ethical. I don't mind it when games have a store where you can purchase stuff with real money. I think that the problem lies when it becomes pay to win, right? Like Clash of Clans, I think we can all agree that it's pay to win. The more money you pay, the more likely you are to be able to win a match or to win against another um colony or kingdom or whatever you want to call them but it's pay to win right and, and that's not fair for for all the people that aren't able to pay i'm not saying that you know you shouldn't be able to pay for some things that make that give you a slight advantage but i don't think that the entire game should be ruled by the people that are that are whales in a game because it's also it's also just bad for the game's economy, right? 
the more people that you have, the more successful the game is. The more successful the game is, the more money that you're going to get in from advertising, from marketing, from affiliates, and from other things. If you're solely just leeching off of these whales that are spending fifty thousand dollars all it takes is for them to lose their job or to finally run out of money or to find out or, or to find a new game and as soon as they do that that money is gone and and there's no easy way of getting it back just build a good game have you know good aesthetics that you can purchase in the store maybe some of these little things that you can buy that make the game a little bit easier but not necessarily broken anyway that's my tangent on gaming as I'm trying to say my goodbyes and my outro. Uh, have a great day, guys. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Uh, and, and like and subscribe if you like what you see or if you like what you hear. Um, and, and remember to just have fun. Play games. Play on. All right, bye.